Today on the Charcoal Grill, I'm going to be making a super cookie in a cast iron pan. So the Weber kettle is going, it's coming up to temp with charcoal in one of the briquette holders. And we're going to be getting the cookie ready and the cast iron pan to go on here. So to make this super cookie, which is kind of a fake snickerdoodle cookie, we're going to be using some pre-made Pillsbury sugar cookie dough, a mixture of cinnamon sugar that my wife put together, and a little bit of non-stick spray for the cast iron pan. To make this a little easier, I set my sugar cookie dough out for about 15 minutes just to soften it a little bit. So I want to get the dough out of here. So we're just going to slice this open. We're just going to want it all in one big hunk here. What we want to do now is just squish it into sort of a ball. Having these gloves on does help. If you want, you can put a little bit of nonstick vegetable oil spray on here. It'll help keep it from sticking, but it's not that much. We're just going to get it into a nice ball like this. And we've got this cinnamon sugar. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the plate here. Set the dough in it. Sprinkle on top, all around, on a good coating of it. All right, we're gonna set that aside for just a minute. Let's get our pan in here. So I'm using an eight inch cast iron skillet here today. I've used it to cook things before, and it's a really nice little pan. Now I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of nonstick spray. Then we are going to put our dough in here and we're going to work the dough down until it fills this pan. You're going to see some of that non-stick spray, that vegetable spray, you know, coming up on the edges and that's fine. That just means it's, it's going to help keep this from sticking. Okay. We're not going for smooth or anything like that. We're going for sort of a rustic camping cookie. I'm going to add some more cinnamon sugar on top now so we have a nice coating. That looks really good. Perfect. Now we're going to get this on the grill. If you can see, I just have one basket of briquettes in there. I don't know, it's probably 20, 20 briquettes because we don't need a lot of heat in here. It's going to be completely enclosed and it's going to be indirect heat all the way. The cast iron pan is going to be on the one side of the grill away from the briquettes, so we won't have to worry about scorching it. It's just going to cook beautifully. So we're just going to put our cast iron pan right about in the center. We'll probably rotate it in about 10 or 15 minutes, but for right now I'm going to get the lid back on so it can get cooking. And we're going to have the vent for the lid opposite of the briquette basket. We got a break in the clouds, so we got some bright sunlight. That temperature is about 370, and it's creeping up, so we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll bring you back when we're going to check this cookie. So it's time to rotate our cookie in the cast iron pan. It's going to turn it 180 degrees. It's smelling really good. Oh, I've made this before, and it's turned out wonderful. <laughs> so. I hope it turns out wonderful again. It's always a bit tricky when you're cooking a big amount of dough like this, but the cast iron pan really does seem to help it along. So let me get the lid back on so we can keep cooking. I'm going to choke this vent down just a little bit so we don't get too hot in there. I'm going to take it down to about a, a third of what it was, and we'll see how that does with the temperature. Don't want it to climb too high. It's just a gorgeous spring day today. Nice little breeze in the air. Perfect day to be out at the grill. So this is probably going to take anywhere from 25 minutes to 40 minutes. It's a big range in there because you're not really dealing with an exact temperature all the time uh, like you would in an oven. So whatever it says on the package, it's more than likely going to take longer than that. So you have to check it. So I'm checking it about every seven minutes. Um, check twice now. And I'm going to give it another seven to 10 minutes. We'll check it again. At that point, I think we'll be getting closer. All right, we're about 23, 24 minutes in. Let's take a look at this and see how we're coming. 
Oh, we're looking good. I'm going to turn it to begin with. It's got more to go. You can see that sort of jiggle in there. When I've done this before, what happens is you get a nice big puff up. You know, the crust starts to pull away a little bit and then the center goes poof and sinks down because it's just too huge a cookie, but that's okay. We're going to put some ice cream in there later on when we eat this. All right, we're going to let that keep cooking. <coughs> All right, it's been about 30 minutes, I think. So I'm going to pop this off and I'm going to potentially try something here. Oh, that's looking nice. So you can see how that's just really puffing up. But I want to get a little bit more color on the top of that. And the way you get color is with the torch. Crystallize some of that sugar up there. Very nice. Now I'm going to turn it again here. At some point, I'm serious. That's at least the times I've done this, that center just goes plop. Also, sometimes you just sort of decide that it's going to be a little bit doughy. But I want to check this here. Oh, it's looking good. Yeah, still doughy in the center. I'm going to say we probably have between 5 and 10 more minutes before we pull it. So I'm going to cover it back up and let it cook a little more. All right, we are just about done, I think. Let's have a look. It didn't collapse yet. I'm surprised. Let's see here. Let's turn it around again. Just going to check this a little bit. Still a tiny bit doughy, but you know what? We're going to take it off now because it's going to keep cooking in this cast iron pan for a while. We need to let it sit for about half an hour to cool off a bit before we take it out of this pan. Now you can also eat it right in the pan if you want, if you're out camping or something. And you can even do this in the oven. But for this, we're going to try and take it out of the pan, and I'll show you how once it cools off. So let's get this off here. Okay, so there is the cast iron cookie, and you can see it did sort of just fall in the center there. So now it's time to get it out of that pan onto a plate. So what we're going to do step one. Let's see. Hey, there we go. And then... Step two, and there we go. And it kind of flattens out. You can see once it's down on that plate. So I am going to slice a piece of this. It's very doughy. I told you it was going to be like that. It's the way they all are. But I'm going to slice a piece of this, take it out, have it with some ice cream. It smells really good. And again, if you like it not as doughy, you can cook it longer. I just don't like it burned. Let me get this out of here. It's almost like a little bit of pie. There we go. I'm actually going to take a little more, a bigger piece. Now let's get some ice cream for this. Put some cookies and cream ice cream in there with it. And I'm ready to taste this. All right, it's cookie time. So let's see. Have some without the ice cream first. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. It's a little doughy. I think maybe five more minutes would have been better, but it still tastes wonderful. Mmm. And here's some with that cookies and cream ice cream. Mmm. 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 Mm. Really tasty. You really get that snickerdoodle sort of flavor with that cinnamon sugar in here. Mmm. Mmm. That is a really tasty super cookie, and it was fun to grill that outside on this just gorgeous spring day that we're having today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It sure does help. And if you're interested in anything I used in this video, I'll put links in the description down below. That way you can check them out yourself. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. And if you do, make sure you click that bell. That way you'll get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a terrific day. Go have some dessert. I'll see you again soon.